Okay, so my panoramic photo has been uploaded to my Google Drive account. So the next thing I have to do is run the Street View app. Okay, once the Street View app is running, you'll see down in the lower right corner here is a little camera with a plus sign on it. Click on that and you'll have three options. Link external 360 camera, import 360 photo or camera. We're going to import a 360 photo. I'll click on drive, my drive, and it's showing me my folders and uploaded photos. I made a folder called Pano Images. I'll click on that. Now, you notice the photo I uploaded earlier on isn't here. That's because this program, for some reason, doesn't update very often. Um, doesn't update your directories. So, what I'm going to do is close this program and I'm going to force it to update. And the way you do that is go into your Google Apps and your device may look different, but run the Google Drive app. This will do a refresh when it runs. Now I'll click on my panel images and you'll see the image is here. So what I'll do now is I'm going to close this app and go back into the Street View app. I'm going to run it again. I closed it earlier. Go back to the photo, import, and there it is. Took me forever to get that part to work. Okay, so I click on that. And you see in the bottom down here, a little spiral thing showing us working. The bigger the image, the longer this will take to display. That was a pretty large image. Oop. Okay. Something hiccup there. Ah, it dropped my Wi-Fi connection. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is let's check out my network here and see what happened. Uh, it actually downloads the image to your to your device and then re-uploads it, which is kind of strange. All right, so I've got my connection back. So let's try this again. See, now my import 360 image button is back. Let's try this again. Okay, I had a quick error pop up saying unable to import image. That's the first time that happened. Huh, and it goes away pretty quick. So let's see why I received that error. Learn more. Yep, no connection again. Okay, so. You obviously need a good web connection. So let me eh, show them high signal. I mean, I'm literally five feet away and you can see I have full connection on this thing. Huh. Let me try going to my high speed connection here. And I'm getting all kinds of updates, so I know I'm online. Okay, so let's try this again. There we go. There's the photo. Next step is to add GPS location. And this is simple. You just type in the location of where it's at and you pinpoint it using Google Maps. So, A-R-G-O-N-N-E, Argonne National Laboratory. 
This was shot during their Energy Days open house a few years ago. So I don't know the exact location where it was shot, but um, I'm gonna zoom out a bit here. I remember it was the basement of one of the older buildings. So it was either here or here, I'm gonna wing it and I'm gonna put it there. Isn't the best way to do it to do this, but you get the idea. Okay, so I've positioned it. So now I'm gonna hit the check mark, uh, check mark. And now we're back to the map display. And you notice it said location saved. So now we have to select it. Let's preview it, make sure it works. Look at that, see? Nice 360 image. Go back. If you click on the select and click on the photo, it's not very intuitive. And then you click the upload button. Notice the bottom says publishing one of one. Now when it's done publishing, it's on the map almost instantly. I've done like five photos in the past 10 minutes. If the internet connection is solid, you don't have the problem I was having earlier on. I didn't edit that out, so in case you have problems, you can see what could be causing them. So let's uh, close all these apps. And then we're going to go to um, Google Maps. And we'll take a look at that published image. So Google Maps. Yeah, 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 you updated something that's nice. A R. G, there you go, Argonne National Laboratory. And look at that. Look familiar? See, it's loading the photo in sections or in stages. And then there's the panoramic. There's me. <laughs> yeah, a little vain. But it's that fast and it's that easy. And if your Wi Fi connection is not spotty, it goes pretty flawlessly. So, yeah, Google's kind of required that you, right now, you need an Android device. I'm not sure if it works on Mac or not to make this work. But any phone, any tablet, this is my little 8 inch tablet and it works great. I have a 10 inch tablet also that I'm going to. Uh, install this on. I think the bigger the screen the better. There's also advanced options where you can link these together and do entire tours. So it's pretty cool. So hopefully this helped.